o'clock, we'll open to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, roll call, Chrissy. Uh, Wyatt? Here. Engel? Here. Reister? Here. Sorry, I got caught up. Buns? Present? Lawson? Here. Yay. <laughs> uh, I have a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Uh, anything to remove from the consent agenda? If not, take a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Uh, welcome to everyone who's online as well as here in person. Uh, a lot of uh, information flying around as far as the most recent governor's proclamation. Uh, some of it goes into effect on the 28th, some of it goes into effect on June 1st. Uh, at this point, as far as within Hudson, Chrissy, we're opening City Hall June 1st, is that correct? Yes, that is the plan. Okay. So at this time, June 1st, City Hall will be open as opposed to the doors locked and where it's been called by appointment only. Uh, Splash Pad is still not authorized to be open, so the next thing we'll do is watch and see if that goes off on June 17th. Mm -hmm. uh, the way I read it, playground equipment is now okay, effective either May 28th or June 1st. I wasn't sure which of the dates. Was I there. think it's June 1st. Okay, and we have not had signage around the playground equipment, and it really hasn't been used much, so I don't anticipate any issue there. And we'll probably be unlocking the restroom at the park. Would that be right, Jake? Okay. So that will start to be open. Okay. Skate park will be open too officially. Yeah, skate park will be officially open because that's allowed now. Um, that's about it. Uh, committee reports, recommendations. Matt, you've got the Public Works Committee? Yeah. Uh, we met on the 13th of May, 7 a.m. And. Uh, Discussed basically three big items. One was the uh, dugout uh, project for ball fields. Uh, after quite a bit of discussion and looking at different bids, uh, we, we realized that the bids weren't necessarily uh, submitted around uniform uh, specs. And so we put those back out to bid after listing specific specs. Yeah, we're still finalizing the plans on that. We'll be going out hopefully this uh, next week. And then uh, talked about fencing at the ball fields. Uh, the bid was awarded to DN and fencing. And then we talked about uh, concrete bids for the fire station, and those are on the agenda for right. approval later on. Thanks, Matt. Any questions for Matt? Uh, Mayor's Task Force uh, chaired that on May 19th. We had a, a fairly lengthy meeting. Basically, we had about 16 or 18 initiatives that we've had ongoing. It was primarily to uh, update both the council members on there uh, as well as um, Dr. Voss and Bill Colwell who are on that committee as citizens. A um, number of them, they're in the packet, so everybody who's got the packet has got the uh, full three pages of minutes that were on there. Um, nothing of a great big surprise. Probably the last thing that we added on the agenda, uh, Chrissy was contacted by LTD which is a provider of broadband to the area, and we're looking at, the, they've requested consideration of allowing them to put up a uh, wireless tower on top of the water tower. We're checking into that. We've got contracts that we'll eventually review, and we're also checking to see if we've got any reason that we couldn't have it up there. Uh, and we'll just keep everybody apprised later. We think it's a good idea if we can have other providers in the area. Uh, it would be line of sight to the water tower. There's an additional provider, too, who has emailed you, and he yeah. emailed me just recently, yeah. potentially looking at the same thing. So yeah, our it's local, really exciting. Yeah, the company that has the IT business and the former fish chiropractic has said that they would like to entertain the possibility of, of providing wireless. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we'll look into them as well. No, it's with wet. 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 You wet photography. Or wet photography. Yeah. So and we, we just have to check in with um, Neptune with our meters yeah. just to make sure that it isn't going so to So the main thing is not anything. interfere with any of our uh, meter readings that occur. Okay. Yep. Uh, any questions on any of the items we had? Okay. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, I will open the public hearing on the proposal to enter into a general obligation corporate purpose loan agreement in the amount of two million one hundred and twenty approximately. Uh, Chrissy, any written comments on it? No. Uh, any oral comments? Uh, close the public hearing. Uh, under general government, Hudson City Council maintains the right to waive the first and second readings of the ordinances presented and may pass the third and final reading of the same ordinance within the same council meeting. Item A, discussion action to approve resolution 2622, a resolution taking additional action on proposal to enter into a general obligation corporate purpose loan agreement and authorizing the use of a preliminary official statement in connection therewith. This is for the bonding agents to go into their uh, activity. Motion to approve? So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? Uh, roll call. All right. Lawson? Aye. Engel? Aye. Buns? Aye. Reister? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. 5 0. Uh, item B, discussion action to approve resolution 2623, a resolution deleting property from the Hudson North Tier Commercial Urban Renewal Area. And this is to accomplish uh, the lot three changes that we have to do. Uh, motion to approve? Approve. Second. Second. Lot Discussion. three changes? This is the lot three LLC. Got it. They're right. Okay. But lost my head there for a second. Okay. <laughs> Roll call. Sometimes it takes a minute. Reister? Aye. Buns? Aye. Lawson? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Engel? Aye. Item C, now this is an ordinance action in order to accomplish the formal deletion of that property. So it's a discussion action to approve the first reading of ordinance 831, an ordinance deleting property from the tax increment financing district for the Hudson North Tier Commercial Urban Renewal Area of the City of Hudson, Iowa, pursuant to section 403.19 of the Code of Iowa. Now what I want here is I want a motion to waive the first and second so that we can accomplish the time frames that the bonding agents need to get this all to run through. So if I could have a motion to waive the first and second readings. So moved. Second. Discussion? Uh, do I need a roll call on that, Chrissy? Yes. Okay, roll call. Uh, Lawson? Aye. Engel? Aye. Uh, Reister? We're just voting on the wave, waving. Yes. Waving yes. the first yes. and second. Yep. Yeah. Aye. Uh, Buns? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Five zero. Now, uh, I'd like to have a motion to approve the third reading of Ordinance 831 to delete that property out of the tax instrument district. So moved. Second. Uh, discussion? Roll call. Engel? Aye. Reister? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Lawson? Aye. Buns? Aye. Approved 5 0. Continuing on the same type of topic. topic. Yeah. <laughs> Discussion action to approve resolution 2624, a resolution setting date for the public hearing on the designation of the expanded northern tier commercial urban renewal area, and on the urban renewal plan amendment, the public hearing would be held June 22nd, 2020, and that would be to address that same piece of property, getting it into that new district. So moved. Second. Uh, discussion. Roll call. Aye. Uh, Reister? Aye. Funds? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Engel? Aye. Lawson? Aye. 5-0. Item E, discussion action to approve resolution 2625, resolution setting date for the public hearing on the renew urban renewal plan amendment for the Hudson urban renewal area public hearing to be on June 22nd, 2020. And this is the same general topic, Chris? Yeah, yep. Okay. It's for, um, to enter into the development agreement okay. with um, lot rates. Okay. So moved. Second. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Uh, Lawson? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Buns? Aye. Reister? Aye. Engel? Aye. Five zero. Item F, discussion action to approve resolution 2626, a resolution for approval of the concrete bids for the fire station and the community center as recommended by the Public Works Department. Move motion. Second. Just to, um, yep. I didn't and just want to make sure that this is all out here. So yeah. they're doing the front driveway of the fire station? Uh, patch repair. Patch repair. Patch repair just at the fire station. Yes. And then community center, what are we doing? So the 10 parking spots or so that yeah. are facing the co-op, okay. those are going to stay. The rest will be ripped up and redone. Okay. 
which has needed it to be done for a long time. Yeah, the so, concrete's 30 yeah. years old. Right, so. yeah, it's issues down there. So that'll make things great down yeah. there. Perfect. Especially with the trees removed out of there. Yeah, and much better. So, thank you. Any further discussion? Roll call. Uh, Reister? Aye. Lawson? Aye. Buns? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Ingle? Aye. Five zero. Uh, we've got informational items in there, only about four of them this time. Reminder items, regularly scheduled meetings held at council chambers except for electric board and library board. Public safety committee meeting May 28th, is that still on? Uh, so far. Okay. Yeah, I have a couple things for okay. What? Yeah, well, right. just one from the PD, so we'll find that. That'll be May 28th at 4 p.m. Public Works Committee, June 10th at 7 a.m. Mayor's Task Force, June 16th at 5 p.m. Personnel Admin Finance Committee meeting, June 22nd at 4.45. Next Council meetings will be Monday, June 8th at 6 p.m. and Monday, June 22nd at 6 p.m. Uh, now, need a motion to enter into closed session pursuant to Iowa Code Chapter 21.51C to discuss strategy with council and matters that are presently in litigation or where litigation is imminent, where it is dis board's disclosure would be likely to prejudice or disadvantage the position of the governmental body in that litigation. So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 We are now in closed session and I will terminate. Are you going to terminate the, yep. uh, or do I, do I just go on mute? No, just a second. Let me, I'll just close the meeting. Right. For whoever's in attendance uh, online, uh, we'll be going into closed session. So it will be uh, ended on the Zoom. Yep. And i got to turn off the camera. Okay. Thanks for attending. Do I have a second for the motion to come out of closed session? Austin's got that. All in favor say aye. Aye. We are now officially out of closed session. So now we got to wait for her to Zoom. Yep. You're good. Do I need to hook I'm in the Zoom too or you've got it up? I have it up. Do you need to shut the recorder off? No, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Okay. So I'm going to make a motion to authorize the mayor to go into a purchase agreement for Byron Sergeant Park for $25,000. Perfect. I'll second. second. Go ahead, Joe. Discussion? We need a roll call on that one probably. Sure. Uh, Engel? Aye. Lawson? Aye. Reister? Aye. Wyatt? Aye. Bonds? Aye. 5-0. Five, Hallelujah! Okay. okay, now... I, I would make a motion that we go into closed session. I gotta read it all. Oh, man, go. Uh, I now entertain a motion to enter into closed session pursuant to Iowa Code Chapter 21.51J to discuss the purchase or sale of particular real estate only where premature disclosure could be reasonably expected to increase the price the government body would have to pay for that property or reduce the price the government body would receive for that property. The minutes and the auto recording of close of a session closed under this paragraph shall be available for public examination when the transaction discussed is completed. Can I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Okay. Second. Second. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. We are now okay. have a motion to come out of closed session? Make that motion to come out of closed session. Second. Second. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 We are now out of closed session. All right, Brenda's got it. Now it's under Chrissy's. Chrissy's got to have a slide first before we come. I, you are good. Okay, I would like to make a motion to give the mayor approval to continue negotiations on the property discussed in closed session. There's a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Do I have a motion for adjournment? Move. So moved. Seconded. Whatever. <laughs> all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all. Thank Adjourn you. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, five minutes. Oh, yeah. Signatures. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Did you guys? Okay.